Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saigon and we're playing the legendary Iron Man uh, run of Better One of uh, this game. It is month number seven. We've just liberated Africa and now it's time to go through all of the missions in South America. Today we're going to look um, to get a scientist. Let's take a look. I think our squad was pretty damn good. Uh, got a shinobi, a gunner, technician and a specialist here. So pretty solid uh, squad to be honest. Um, question is can we take on 15 or shall we reduce it to, to a baseline of 10? And I guess I'm making the call that we make this mission a little bit more spicy and interesting. We're not going to boost it, hence saving our 30 intel. I still think that we can pull it off. All right, and we are ready to go. Let's take a look at uh, the uh, map. We got 23 rounds, so that's plenty of time. And boy, oh boy, would I wish that we do have a, uh, that we had a sniper this time. Like that's a lot of open ground, and it's pretty far until we can actually extract this guy here and move up. Let me think about that. So, I thought a little bit about how I would want to approach the map, and I think we're going to still go relatively fast. 23 rounds uh, look like an awful lot of time, but with reinforcements coming in, it's actually not as much as you might think. I don't want to play the low ground here. It's just a shitty position, to be honest. Everything up here and up here, up here, end up here has high ground on you and you can easily easily get into a flanking position so instead what I would want to do is really moving everyone up that ladder and kind of prepare almost a breach slash utilization of the high ground here I think this here is a really solid spot having this building upper and lower floor Probably only lower floor. Ah, here, here's, here's uh, the letter for the upper floor. But controlling up and lower floor will allow us to have a lot of control over that area. Uh, good, a couple of really good angles. Full cover here and here for flanks. Full cover here for flank. Um, good option to move around. And even if we don't move around that side, uh, all of this here um, is eff effectively covered off by a vision barrier, which is important so that we might avoid triggering multiple packs at once. Well, and maybe not, because maybe we're just randomly spotting the first pack. Triple Overwatch, all right, perfect. Well, so much for our concealment, right? Great, Saiken, well done. Awesome, it is impressive how you managed to pull that entire pack at once. Really well done, champ. Um, we're fortifying, like to get rid of Essentially, their overwatch here. Don't want to use. Um, don't want to use our rocket yet. We have two enemies that are burning, which is great. And we still have another Overwatch, unfortunately one into full cover. So I guess the question that I'm asking is, if we were to move to here, that's at least partial cover. This here would be even better, because we could uh, hit both of them with Bladestorm, but it's also more in the open. I think we're still going to take it. I like the aggressive play. This is going to trigger an overwatch. Over 
Nice little hit. All right, the drone will try to do, to use its stunner, which is great. Moving into full cover and flanking position. Not sure what, uh, not yet fully sure what we're going to do. Here is not a bad spot. I think we're going to area suppress, to be honest. Oh, shit. Maybe we're not. Maybe we need to make sure that we actually get rid of the drones. Alright, let's go. Not the play that I was envisioning. Let's see, we'll make sure that they are not going to move anywhere far. The drone, however, still can can hit. By the way, the shot did not trigger Overwatch, which is unlike uh, highly unusual. Normally, it should trigger. So we've taken a lot of damage without a real reason. Oh shit! <laughs> We're fucked. Luckily, that one seemed to have missed. All right. Okay, so it's clear that we need to heal. So this here would trigger an overwatch shot, but uh, damn, we can't we can't use body armor on a target that is that is further away. Damn it! I mean, we could use this here to remove the Overwatch, I guess. I would probably rather take the shot. Because we need to save the rocket for a bit later. The heavy mech is our primary target. So moving up. Body shielding. And let's take down the mech. Come on, Baya. I need you. Very nice. Good hit. Come on, one more. Shit. That was unfortunately not good enough. Still can kill it. Very nice. Wildcat takes an 8 protocol. We're finishing this guy. And we're putting ourselves uh, here because he's still burning, which means he can't really do anything. And that's at least half cover 
against the gunner. All right, pretty brutish uh, first couple of rounds, to be honest. I was hoping I could have a bit of a cleaner play here. But we got somewhat unlucky. So killed a pack of three, killed a drone, killed another drone, that's five, killed a mech, killed this guy, that's seven. It's pretty intense. down to one Good copy. Moving on target. we don't have line of sight so far oh. 44% good enough for me I was hoping for at least a grazing shot didn't work out nine hit points is kind of on the edge of being one shot I still think we need to somewhat keep our um, our healing protocol. Uh, Blade Storm should kill the guy, which will then make it seven kills. And I originally said I don't want to play the low ground, but now we're trapped, um, kind of committed to that low ground despite not wanting to play it to begin with shit yeah that's where we need the next healing And you can already see how fast the timer ticks down, right? So we're already down to 19 rounds. Nailed him. On reserve. Got help from out. Reinforcements are soon going to come in. Moving up. Superior conditioning is wonderful. You gotta be a bit careful. I really don't want to trigger another pack. On the other hand, you can't just chill out and do nothing. So we need to advance a bit. It's a fine line between knowing how far you can and cannot push. Reinforcements. Crit chance is great. This is kind of a get out of jail card. But the downside is too harsh. Can't do that. Or oh, we shouldn't do that. Don't want to gamble. So, seven down, probably eight more to go. Confirmed. Moving up. On the and that's the real disadvantage of the low ground. You essentially are moving into un explore territory and you don't have a real good position to begin with right that's an unfortunate miss
What's our chance of uh, controlling it? 50-50. You know, I'll do something else instead. I actually think if we were to control it, that would be risky. I'll rather shut it down. Yes, we could have controlled it, but it could have also pulled another pack. So shutting it down will give us enough time to deal with it, and we don't have any problems. You know, it's one of uh, the rare occasions where we could actually use command, and by thinking about that, I now feel stupid for shutting it down. Didn't it didn't cost us a lot, but we're now on cooldown regarding hacking. Probably not the worst thing, but still. Okay, we want to either play it via high ground, but that requires an entry via the rooftop. Could go to here and then just jump down and down. That's not the worst idea. The other option is playing through the store here. It's probably a little bit worse though. So uh, high ground it is. Moving to designated position. On the move. Moving up, we're going to use this entire round just to reposition. Still got 17 more turns. We're, we're having killed eight enemies, eight more to go, plus the reinforcements. All right, no reinforcements yet, which definitely means we are stepping up our game. And that's the sort of pack where you would want to keep your your rocket and your other shenanigans. Oh, it would be nice if we could hit two of them with our flamethrower, right? Just barely out of range. All right, we're fortifying in the full cover. Shit, I was hoping that we would effectively get rid of his armor. That unfortunately did not happen. So this is indestructible half cover, which I think we might want to use. Can't melee the muton, otherwise I would definitely do that. But that might motivate him to move over and actually try to melee us, which would be great because we can retaliate. We're going to suppress him. And not only that. We're going to area suppress. That gives us a chance to actually kill the sector as well. Moving up. Perfect timing for yet another threat to show up. 
So we're 11 enemies in. And that is 14, so that would, would be the last pack. Luckily, we used our... Um, Luckily, we used our um, ability to increase cover. Alright, that's going to be a pretty dramatic encounter overall let's see we got got the option to kill the faceless one but if we move away from the faceless one it's going to be useless for one turn those guys here are a problem and soon reinforcements are going to come in. Plus, I we need to deal with mutant. Like there is no, there is, there can't be any resolution without dealing with a mutant. Could move up to here. That here would be a flanking position, though. And move up to here, which would be the natural choice. Can't give anyone else a speed up. I mean, one thing that we could do is we could drop down here, right? and then simply shred him, which would almost kill him. We'd be out of line of sight, and those guys would need to come closer. So that's not a bad plan per se, but it's a risky one. This here is definitely a no regret move, getting us out of a problem zone. Eighteen percent is not enough. If this here would be reliable, we could, we could definitely pull it off. Moving to here. Not the best position. We're still very much dependent on not being flanked. But if we could pull off uh, this shot, the 50-50, we can kill him. There is a plan B. The other alternative is Bayer uh, actually moves up to here. Completely out of line of sight and far enough, or probably far enough away. The plan B is we're just moving next to the mutant and waiting for it, uh, waiting that it attacks us. Or moving next to it and simply flashbanging, which will make his accuracy really suck. Alright, let's do this. I still think the aggressive path here is the best way to go. Could try to flame him, but that's not a that's not a reliable idea. This here is more reliable.
I think we can't kill it. That's the problem. We can't. We can also cannot kill him. Damage was just too low. Uh, I was hoping that we would deal more damage whilst we were shredding it. it wasn't happening. I mean, we could go for a chain shot, but that would just be pretty unlikely. Let's do this. It's probably better to just kill him. Moving in front of uh, the mutant. Okay, still not a good round, but the best I could do in with the tools available. There's the blade storm. And are we going to get a parry? No, he's actually taking a shot. Shit. Ready to go. Gremlin, medical detail. Reinforcements are going to come in next turn. Gotta be ready for it. Alright, let's kill him. That overall worked out reasonably well. Should be able to find the advent up here. Alright, got a stun answer and kind of got him. Stun answer will come to us, so that's not a problem. And we can easily retaliate. Moving into position. We're overwatching. There's always a chance that the Sun Lancer is going to go and hit our medic, which would be terrible. So we're eight protocoling ourselves, making it very unlikely that he attacks us. We're losing an overwatch, but overall I think it's worth it. There's the enemy. Come on, we need an overwatch hit. I've got eyes on advent troops. That's the level of difficulty I'd like to see. Yep, that's a good hit. That's a very good hit. Captain is moving up, potentially takes a shot or marks us. Marks us. No. Takes a shot. And that's why you make sure that the stun lancer has something to lance. Well, fuck you, lancer, that's for sure. Revival protocol. Thanks to our clever decision making.
Can we could go for a shutdown. Decent chance that we're that we're killing the stun lancer. Stun lancer needs to die, that's the problem. We can't just let him run around. Yeah, I think we're... yeah, well, on the other end, the mech is also a problem. And our low hit points here are a problem as well. Okay. That will give us a blade storm attack. And kill this guy, which is good. Can't go for either. We need to make sure that Wildcat here is surviving. Five hit points is unfortunately not enough. So, gotta heal and good lord. Am I happy that we saved uh, the heal? That's a good position, non-flankable. Just solid. And then a good chance to actually kill this guy. Okay, perfect. Done deal. All right, bye. Uh, the captain is probably going to come up and take a shot here. Might as well offer Baya as an option. Taking body shield just in case. Can't reload anymore. Don't have that free reload. And chain shot is on cooldown, so it's gotta be this shot. Ah, one damage short. One damage short. Damn it. We got cover. Hey, that should have triggered over uh, Bladestorm. I'm sure why it didn't trigger. That's pretty fucked up. Alright, let's get into cover so that the rooftop can't ambush us. Bro, that's the wrong time to miss a 95% shot. Twelve turns. All right, let's kill this guy. Taken care of. Which brings us to the captain. Don't know where he uh, he is. Reloading Overwatch. Can't reach the captain upstairs. That's a bummer.
I had a feeling he might be here. I'm not sure why we can't hit him. That might be a mispositioning. That his actual position is somewhere else. Yeah, he's considered to be in full cover. Is he standing behind the wall? Yeah, he might be standing behind the wall. Solid copy. Ten four. Okay, when we're piling up like this. There's a pretty solid chance that he's going to use explosives. Still don't know why we can't hit him with a flamethrower. Maybe he's actually standing within the cell. That would make sense. Kind of inside this cell, but the door is not open. can't even see him. Nope. Which means we're just going to Overwatch. We are in full cover. That's the grenade I was predicting. To end this. I'm ready. Good. This will kill him. And there is the last um, faceless one. Confirmed. VIP is secure and we're on the move. Wow. What a serious. On my way. Roger that. We're pretty, pretty injured. Comes to the VIP. Let's move him out of here. We definitely will need to deal with one more pack of reinforcements and probably the faceless one. Overwatch. And it's not looking great. We don't have a lot of hit points left, plus our consumables are all gone. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shit, and the overwatch shot missed. I was hoping that that wouldn't be the case. Let's see. Can't kill him with one shot. So first things first, our VIP is going to be rescued. Secondly, Baya is going to use Chain Shot and hopefully kill this guy here. Very nice. to like stand in the front that's not a great position specifically not with two hit points position ourselves here, which is probably the right call, and make sure that we kill this guy. This also faces one over here, but it can't reach us this turn. Come on, let's crit him. Crit yes, kill no, not good. Realizing I only have four hit points left from him as well. Enemies down. All right, let's kill him. Shit. We might lose our operators here, or some. It's going to infuse hit points. Okay. It's at least a wasted action. On, miss. Okay. Reinforcements next turn, can't leave.
Gotta kill them. Can't leave this turn. There's another way up here, which is good. We're going to take that. We can use Oscar Mike next turn. Don't have chain shot. Hmm. We got to kill it, though. So time for reload. Unfortunately not enough to immediately kill it. And there's a pretty hefty accuracy fall off for moving further away. I want to get out of here next round, that's why I'm a bit concerned about where to move. It seems we can't get it. Remix. Oh shit. Advent troops here. All right. Are they running into Bladestorm? Deflection. Looks like they called in backup. Next turn, we're having another. Another turn, okay, so he could get out. Can't get out. This is intense, guys. How can we? How could we get out of here? Okay, we definitely need to trigger Overwatch with Baya. Okay. Well, that didn't work. That will kill one. Target disabled. We need to reload. We just can't continue fighting here, that's the problem.
This mech here will go rampage on us with the explosives. So we're probably not going to survive uh, if we continue staying here. The store luckily is going to block vision, so this guy will not be able to see us. Oscar Miking, come on. So we're triggering the Overwatch. How much damage are we dealing? Enough to deal with the mech upstairs. Moving to designated position. All right, kill it. Trying to find a place where we can see this mech. Shut down 60%, that's good enough for now. So we can position ourselves in full cover. even over here in half cover. Trying to be out of range for this guy. Fortunately the best spot here doesn't really work. In this spot here down here it's only half cover which means this spot which would be great for full cover is not available because we can't see the mech strangely enough gotta make a call my judgment call is we're going for full cover Good, and now it's up to RNG. Need to shut this guy down. Let's go. All right, very good. I was hoping we wouldn't need to do that. I was actually trying, hoping that we could kill the other guy. Kill confirmed. Okay, at least no mechs. That means we're not going to deal with Overwatch. But a lot of um, enemy advent. And there's still one more shot that we need to dodge. Come on, Bob Ross. I know you can do that. Shit. Overwatch. Okay, so I do have an idea. This here 
will hopefully trigger the overwatch. Of course, this guy has Sentinel. Hopefully this triggers another overwatch. Okay, good enough. Don't forget to pick up our unit. You tanked it like a man. Good fucking job. And Bob Ross gets out of here. <laughs> what a mission, guys. Could have had it the easy way, but no, Saigon wanted to not invest the intel. Would rather go into a 60% infiltrated mission. mission Four men versus 33. Sounds very fair. All right, we just landed. Boy, oh boy, that was a close call. 10 days, 14 days, 13 days, gravely wounded. Only Baya is coming out with a nice little smile. And I think we earned ourselves the privilege to carry the reaper shredder is great i think we're going to take that better than the other two options yeah we got superior conditioning that is awesome one of my favorite um pcs's the rest isn't bad either Plus we got a 7th um, scientist, which is great, because we wanted some more scientists to help us with intel gathering. Good. South Africa is still recruiting. That's okay. Until we get kind of the 12th recruit. Supplies here. Supplies here. Down here we're using Intel and got a scientist. That's good. Here we are recruiting and we do have a Haven Advisor. Up here we do have Intel, but no scientist, and that's exactly where we wanted to have that additional scientist. There we go. Yeah, and up here we're still recruiting. Okay, cool. Good. Whew, what a hard-fought mission. We also get plenty of resource, uh, resources now. Plus a new Shinobi, that's great. So we got some more soldiers to play with. And we got someone with a good aim. Someone with an average aim. I think another gunner wouldn't be too bad. Oh, we already got a gunner here. Assault, Shinobi, Technician, Specialist, Gunner, another Specialist, Sharpshooter, Sharpshooter. So we got a few Sharpshooters actually. And we're currently training another Specialist, which is never wrong. Um, I would say Xenia here can be another assault. And for Ruben, I mean, we could go Ranger. Infantry is never bad. I 
I like the idea of a gunner as well. Or we go Grenadier. Do we have a Grenadier down here? Yeah, we actually do. Alright, well, we have a lot of classes. So, let's use Xenia here and just go with the salt for now. And we'll figure out if we want to have another gunner or another sharpshooter with our other pick. All right, Eastern US has recruited the rebel. That's great. Keep doing so, please. Gosh, so much to watch out once you do have enough um, once you do have enough different bases, the management takes a lot of time. Recruited in New Brazil. Alright. We're at eleven. Getting that 12th um, Rebel soon. And we got ourselves a Resistance Mech. So, in terms of just general utilization of our time, We said we might want to respec some of uh, the Alpha Team soldiers. Um, yeah, Roby here could be the right one. We're getting rid of Chain Shot and instead getting Demolition. That would be a good idea. Yes, please. Which means for him it's, I think, 10 days and then he... Let me see. Specialist training... Da, 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 da. No, retraining five days. Easy enough. All right, for once we have really solved all of the issues here. Except, we still need to make contact, and we don't have enough intel to do so. Gosh. Well... How much is building a radio relay going to cost? 650 supplies. It's not, it's not going to happen anytime soon. We're just going to heal a little bit faster. And I'll save our supplies. Okay, something is fully infiltrated. But we still got another day and a half, which means we can get to 125% infiltration, which would be great. Yeah, considering that we do have two rookies, that makes sense, plus we would get some intel. That's fine. I think that's good. Let's continue.
South Africa has finally recruited everyone, which means we are switching from recruitment to supplies. And that also means we're going to position an engineer here. Nice, look at that. Even for the rest of the month, we're, we are going to make quite a hefty profit. Only thing that we don't know is we don't know how strong what the strength of New Australia is. So we probably should contact it because I'm afraid about an invasion here. Like was the uh, Western Europe is probably a thing. Our action together is complete, Commander. Great. Just received some new intel on the Chosen, Commander. My followers grow increasingly reverent of your ability. Suit up. All armor and uh, vest projects are completed instantly. That's good. I like it. And we got a promotion out of it. I like that even more. Which means we could now go for the um, for the warlock. Let's see what the alternatives are. Ooh, a new Templar. That would be great. But I think it's got to uh, wait for now. We really need to, to get to that sweet, sweet um, infiltration part where we can get rid of him. Similar, or well, very soon we should do the same with the assassin. Yeah, we got some really good rewards, but this year has priority. Using our sharpshooter to give her some more aim. Making sure that she's not going to be wounded. Yeah, and to be honest, we can just put a rookie on this mission. I could always hire a new rookie if if we want to train them. So it's just a plus one here. The other option is reducing the duration by one day. So who is the bondmate of her? Would that reduce it? No, it wouldn't. Their bond is not high enough yet. Good. 16 days is a long time. Definitely worth it. Wow. Okay. Let's continue the healing process. And look at that resistance person. A couple of rookies. Yeah, and a lot of resistance personnel. Four days. Sure, why not? Plus, we got all negative traits removed from one of our soldiers, which means we can continue doing that with the other soldiers. Let me do that here real quick. All right, we got a team together. I'm not 100% happy about it because we only hit 84% infiltration. 
That would put us up against 15 again. Uh, so and so, but I think the team constellation is actually um, pretty okay for what we're trying to do. So uh, we should be okay. Let me try if we can add a fifth one. Yeah, not going to work at all. That would immediately bring it up to 21. So that's not worth it. I think overall it's a solid combination. We have definitely a couple of rookies here with us, so not necessarily the, the best way to start such a mission. And for a bit of resistance personnel, I don't want to spend 30 intel, so we're not going to boost this mission. I will think about it once we're ready for infiltration. Good, negative traits are removed. Let's continue doing that with the next soldier. There we go. Good, we're continuing to heal faster, by the way. The income is awesome. I totally like what I'm seeing. And there we go, over-infiltrated, nice little 10 to 12 um, baseline. And we got a decent SWAT for rookies or for lower level characters and two actual rookies. And we're working for some intel, so that's good enough. Unfortunately, hmm, it's, it gets Advent's attention which means the, the level of strength will skyrocket here. And we already know it was at 5. I'm um, not a big fan of that, but on the other hand we need the intel. So we're still going to do it. You never want to just grab Advent's attention. Not if you can help it. Anyways, uh, let's level up our soldier and then it's time to close today's mission. Phil Mitch Mitchell, the Grenadier, has finally got his promotion out of uh, the last Covered Ops mission. We're investing into Salvo. Uh, it's just so good for the action economy. And it seems that he could use some proper weapons. Oh my gosh. Oh well, we're going to equip him the next time that he actually goes onto a mission. Good, which uh, brings me to the end. We're almost done with advanced coil guns and if we expand our queue, month number seven, the dreaded September uh, with, the, uh, with the spike in difficulty has just happened, or is just happening at the moment. So Let's see how the rest of September plays out. We still have a couple of missions going, but so far we have been very, very successful. And I'm looking forward to finally get the plasma weapons going. Perfect. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for supporting. And if you enjoyed the content, leave a comment and a like down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.